In tutorial 19, we will perform a supervised classification on a Landsat image, generate supervised signatures using training samples, and use histograms, scatter plots, and statistics to evaluate our data. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. If you expand the classification menu, you can see some of the options available to you for supervised classification. Before we can perform a supervised classification, we must create trading data. Think of this data as samples telling ArcMap which pixel values belong in which class. We are going to start with identifying areas for the water class. Zoom in to the Smith Mountain Lake region and open the Training Sample Manager located on the Image Classification Toolbar. Now we'll draw a circle that contains an area we would classify as only water. Select Draw Circle from this drop-down list on the Image Classification Toolbar. When you draw your circle, you're dragging outward from the place where you first put your cursor on the map. Be sure to stay away from shorelines so that our pixels only contain what we know are water. You can see that when we create the training area, the Training Sample Manager automatically adds it to the list here. You can click on the name of a sample to change it, and we recommend that you do this to keep track of which samples record which type of data. I'm going to pan to another part of the same lake that also contains water but has different pixel values and create a training sample data for this area as well. If I create a training sample that I don't like, such as this one which contains quite a bit of shoreline, I can select it in the Manager window and then click the Delete button again in the Manager window. I can also change the outline color of any of my training samples from the Manager by clicking on the color patch. After creating a few samples, I want to be sure to save this training data. If I don't save it, I won't be able to access it later on. From the manager, click on the Save icon. And save the training data in your working directory. I've jumped ahead a bit now, and you can see that I've created 17 different training areas, color-coded to each of my four different land cover classes. Be sure that your training data covers a wide variety of pixel types, locations, and sizes. Now I'm going to start to examine my training data. I will start by highlighting the water areas in the sampled manager. Click on the histogram icon. The histogram window opens to the left of my table of contents. I'll want to slide it over to make it more visible. I can do this by dragging and dropping the partition between the table of contents and the histogram window. Only rows that I've highlighted in the Training Sample Manager will show up in the histograms. I can hold down the Control key and click to add another row from the Sample Manager. The histograms allow me to check for normalization of my training data, as well as the pixel value ranges, and check for overlap. I'm going to go back and highlight just my water training data again. I'm going to examine my data in a few other ways, so I'm going to close the histograms window.